In this video, I will going to show you the correct Cloudflare DNS setting you should use to fix your webmail not sending issue. At the end of this video, you will get the right Cloudflare setting for WordPress to proxy through Cloudflare for your domain. And at the same time, you still can send and receive email from your hosting email. So after you log in to your Cloudflare account, under your website, under the DNS setting, you will see after the scan, you will see a bunch of DNS record, auto add on. And from here, you will see the orange cloud proxy through Cloudflare. In order for your email to work, the only A records that you need to proxy through Cloudflare is your domain name. For this example, I'm using this wkit.design domain name. This is what we need to proxy. And the other one is the CNAME with the www dot with your domain name. So the rest of the A record, you need to turn it off. For my case, I added a subdomain name test.wkit.design. So I need to proxy through this subdomain. So I will leave this alone. And this FTP also need to close. So you only need the air records of your domain name and the C name with the www dot with your domain name to be proxy. The rest of the A records need to be turned off in order for your email to work. So let's go back to your control panel. For this example, I'm in using this domain. So I will log into my email account. For this example, I will compose and send a test mail to my Gmail account. And hit on send. So we will click on send folder to make sure this email already sent out. And after that, log into the Gmail and you will see the email from my hosting account already received in this gmail so to make sure your hosting email will receive email i will, will just click on reply and reply on this email and hit on send and we go back to your hosting email click on refresh it might take some time for the email to reach and yes, my hosting received the email from the Gmail. So that's it. With this, we have fixed the email sending issue for those who proxy their domain using Cloudflare. I hope that you found this video to be informative and helpful to you. And I would like to thank you if you can give me a like and subscribe to this channel for more information like this.